An animated transition moves your video from one scene into another scene and tends to indicate location travel or it may indicate that time has passed. You might, you might want to use a transition to show the passage of time. For example, a transition like this kind of makes it feel like some time has passed in between those two scenes. And so what transitions do is, is they don't just cut the scene from one to the other. It also helps you, a transition helps you to tell the story of your video and to place the viewer inside of that story. So it's very important that you use your transitions correctly. For example, if I want to use a transition to take me outside, I could easily do that like this. And now you can see that I'm in a different physical location. You can also use a custom transition to move to B-roll like this. Now we're looking at B-roll. Get it? We can easily use a transition again to take us back into the studio. You're absolutely gonna need to use transitions in all of your videos, and that's why every single video editing program comes with its own set of transitions. We use Camtasia, and you've got a selection there. We use Adobe, and you've got a selection there. Now the problem is, is that as a business owner, making videos, your competitors are making videos too, and what happens when, when you make a video and he makes a video and you're both using the same transitions? You're both using the same stock photos and stock imagery and, and that sort of thing. Well, you know, you put yourself in a place where you're not distinguished from your competitor. That could be a very dangerous place to be. When you get a custom animated transition, what happens is now you take your brand colors, maybe your logo, and you turn that into a transition. Think about the old Batman. Uh, you know, the old Batman from the 60s, how they would transition from one scene. They had the bat symbol, you know, kind of come out and whirl back in. Well, you could do something like that with your logo in a, in a sleeker looking way. You could do a, a transition with your brand colors. And what this does is it now gives your video an element that cannot be competed with. See, you're in blue ocean now. You, you've got something your competitors just can't even touch. And that's why getting a custom animated transition, although it's a little awkward, like it's, it's tough to find someone that will do that for you. They're not even going to know what you mean. They're going to be like, why don't you just use a custom transition from, from Adobe? You know what I mean? So you've really got to seek out and find someone that can make you a custom animated transition. Now, if you want to get something made for your business, you can always find a motion graphics designer. You can go to Upwork, you can go to Fiverr. Uh, we, we hire a lot from there. You can ask for referrals, but the easiest thing to do is just go to the video marketing school.com, click on video branding elements and get their video branding elements package in that package. You'll get custom transitions for your video, but you'll also get custom intros. You'll also get a full screen graphic and a whole bunch of other stuff. That's going to make your video super, super competitive. Uh, and so using these little tweaks, having these little tweaks uh, are absolutely good for business because it helps you stand apart. Um, on video in a very, very busy social media market.